Have you ever wondered why a narcissist gets angry when you don't chase them? Narcissism is a complex personality trait often characterized by a need for control and constant admiration. When this dynamic is disrupted, it can lead to a variety of reactions, from loss of control to extreme emotional responses. Understanding these reactions can be crucial in navigating relationships with individuals who exhibit narcissistic tendencies. Stay tuned as we delve into the reasons behind a narcissist's anger when they are not pursued. Firstly, narcissists crave control, especially over others' emotions and actions. They are like puppeteers, orchestrating the actions of others to suit their narrative, and when they can't, they feel a profound sense of frustration. You see, control is their safety net, it's their way of maintaining the illusion of their grandeur and superiority. It's their weapon of choice for manipulation and dominance. Now imagine what happens when you choose not to chase them, not to play along with their games, not to dance to their tunes. You are essentially pulling the rug out from under their feet, leaving them floundering. This disrupts their carefully constructed world, where they are the sun, and everyone else merely orbits around them. Their sense of control is shattered, making them feel powerless and vulnerable. This loss of control is deeply unsettling for them, and that's when their anger surfaces. So when you don't chase them, you essentially strip them off their power, which can trigger their anger. Another reason for their anger is the challenge to their grandiosity. Narcissists often possess an inflated sense of self-importance, a grandiose belief in their own irresistibility. This inflated ego is like a balloon, floating high on the constant stream of validation and admiration that they seek from others. However, when you choose not to chase them, you're essentially pulling the plug on their source of inflation. This can be perceived as a direct attack on their ego. Imagine a balloon suddenly losing its air, it's shocking, unexpected, and it falls flat. That's what happens to a narcissist's ego when they don't receive the admiration they believe they're entitled to. They feel deflated, and that's an unfamiliar and uncomfortable experience for them. This discomfort can quickly turn into anger, as they struggle to grapple with this blow to their self-esteem. By not pursuing them, you are indirectly deflating their overblown ego which they are not used to. Narcissists also harbor a deep-seated fear of abandonment, it might sound paradoxical considering their seeming indifference towards others' feelings, but it's true. This fear often stems from early life experiences and forms a core part of their identity, even if they themselves are unaware of it. Now, imagine what happens when you don't chase them. You're not only challenging their grandiosity and control, but also triggering this intense fear. They may have spent their entire lives trying to avoid this feeling, creating a false persona of charm and confidence to hide their insecurities. When you don't give in to their manipulation, when you don't succumb to their charm, you're directly confronting them with their biggest fear, abandonment. This can lead to a surge of emotions within them. They might feel exposed, vulnerable, and yes, deeply afraid. And how do they cope with this fear? By lashing out, by trying to regain control, by expressing anger. Your lack of pursuit can ignite these fears, causing them to react in anger. Then there is the concept of narcissistic rage and hoovering. Narcissistic rage is characterized as an intense emotional response, often triggered when the narcissist's sense of superiority is threatened. It's the volcano that lies dormant but can erupt in an instant. This rage can manifest as sudden bursts of anger, aggressive behavior, or even violence, all fueled by the narcissist's desperate need to regain control. It's crucial to understand that while this reaction is extreme, it is not reflective of all narcissists. Not every narcissist will resort to rage, but it is a possible reaction when their carefully constructed world begins to crumble. This brings us to the concept of hoovering. If you imagine a vacuum cleaner sucking up everything in its path, you'd have a pretty accurate picture of hoovering. It's a tactic used by narcissists to pull you back into their sphere of influence when you try to break free. The narcissist may use charm, flattery, or even apologies to lure you back into their web. However, don't be fooled. In some cases, the narcissist may resort to more insidious tactics, such as veiled threats or guilt trips. This is not a bid for genuine reconciliation. Instead, it's another desperate attempt to regain control, to reestablish the power dynamic that feeds their ego. Navigating these turbulent waters of narcissistic rage and hoovering can be challenging, 
But remember, you're not obligated to weather this storm. Focus on self-care, prioritize your emotional health, and seek support when needed. It's essential to remember that the narcissist's ultimate goal in exhibiting these behaviors is not to reconcile or to genuinely address the issues at hand. Their primary aim is to regain control, to reestablish their dominance, and to continue feeding their inflated sense of self-importance. Be aware of these reactions, but remember, their ultimate goal is to regain control, not genuine reconciliation. Scene Script Understanding a narcissist's anger when you don't chase them is the first step towards healing. Let's take a moment to recap what we've discussed today. When you don't give a narcissist the attention they crave, several reactions can occur. They may feel a loss of control as they thrive on manipulating others. You're challenging their grandiosity, their inflated sense of self-importance that relies on constant validation. And you could be triggering deep-seated fears of abandonment, which can lead to anger and attempts to regain control. This anger can escalate into what we call narcissistic rage, an extreme emotional response that can even lead to aggression or violence. And finally, a narcissist may attempt to lure you back into their orbit through a tactic called hoovering. They may use charm, apologies, or even threats to regain control. But remember, their goal is rarely genuine reconciliation. But most importantly, remember that your well-being is paramount. You are not obligated to chase someone who disrespects your boundaries or manipulates your emotions. Focus on self-care and healing. Prioritize your own emotional and mental health during this process. And don't forget to seek support from trusted friends, family, or a therapist. Building a strong support system can be crucial in navigating this challenging situation. Remember, you are not alone. There are resources available to help you navigate this situation and prioritize your well-being.